Alright guys, for this lesson we are going to be drawing a alien in a spaceship, which would be called a UFO. Which I lost my pencil. Oh, here it is. I always do that. I always lose my pencil. Alright, so we're going to be drawing the ship first. So the first thing you're going to need to do and uh, have your, pa your paper horizontal, not vertical. Remember, vertical is up and down long ways, and horizontal is um, long ways across. So horizontal, kind of like um, a hot dog would be long ways and a hamburger is more horizontal. So, I think I said that wrong, but anyways, so here we go. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do a very curvy rainbow line. So it's going to curve in. See how it came in? Then you're going to connect those two. And then you're going to put a C on this side, a C on that side, and then you'll connect that with a line. Then you're going to have a line that goes out, and then another line that goes out. And then you're going to connect those two with a curved line, lots of curved lines, and then another C, backward C. Sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background. They're making a lot of noise today. Oh, I got a little bit off there, but it's okay. I can fix it. Happy little mistakes. Just like something Bob Ross would say. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add some details. So I'm going to add some curved lines going this way, and then... I'm going to switch it up and go the opposite way. Then I'm going to add a few details down here. Just, and then over here. And then I'm going to make some lines. And then some lights on it by adding some circles to my spaceship. Alright, so that's my spaceship. Pretty simple. Basic spaceship. Now it's going to do the alien. So the alien is going to be a curve. And then it's going to become a upside down triangle, just like almost like an ice cream scoop. Then on either side, you're going to put two lines that are parallel to each other. And then you're going to make a circle on either side. Okay. Then you're going to do the exact same shape twice again, but this time it's for the eyes. So it's kind of like the same shape for the eyes. And then some nostrils. Now I'm gonna make mine a happy looking alien. So then a line here and here for the neck. Make mine a little more straighter. Then I'm gonna go a curve out and go straight down. And then do a line for an arm. Cause that arm's just gonna be down. And then on this side, I'm gonna make my arm go out. And then I'm gonna come down, make this parallel line to match this line and then I'm going to curve that out and then I'm going to kind of give it like frog like hands because I really don't know what kind of hands an alien would have kind of just using my imagination so there my hands for my alien I would add some highlights to the um the spaceship because it's kind of like glass and then you can add whatever else you want in space maybe you want to add some stars so if you want to add some stars you can add some stars or maybe you want to add um, a planet or a bunch of planets anything really you could do you can do to your picture now then after you're done drawing you can go ahead and outline it in sharpie and color it I went ahead and I already have a finished one so I'm just going to show it to you real quick whoops don't look at that's another project we're doing okay here we go here's the finished project of my little alien I think it came out pretty good what do you think well, I hope to see you guys do this project and I'll see all your guys' creative work. I've noticed when I've seen you guys coloring, some of you are leaving a lot of white spots. So if we were in regular class, I would have you go back and try to fix those white spots. So if you're coloring, especially with color pencils, try to get really um, light and color, um, con like color more connected um, to your pencil so that you don't get the white spots so much. And then with crayons, it's a little bit easier, but I noticed some of you are coloring and leaving a lot of white spots. So maybe in our next lesson, I'll show you guys how to try to um, use some of those tools, like color pencils, um, a little bit better so that you're not getting so much white spots in your pictures. Because now that we're um, 
some of us are going to be going to fourth grade and some of us are moving up to fifth and some of us are moving to sixth we want to be able to color within the lines and we want to try to get all those white spots i hope to see all your guys' finished work make sure you're sending me pictures love you guys bye